Hello everybody and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. This is a brand new single player playthrough I'm going to be doing by myself. Simon is going to do his own single player playthrough of Fallout 3. Uh, this is the fourth game of the series uh, but it's not like related to the story. I suppose none of them really are anyway. Um, yeah, it's an open world RPG game where there are monsters, there's people, it's post-apocalyptic um, In the third one, you've just come out of a vault. In this one, um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to see uh, what actually happens to you. Uh, so we will start settings, just make sure settings, everything's okay. Normal, yeah, because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not the best at this display. Yeah, that'll do. And audio. I'll keep it up a bit. Uh, so, brand new game. Yep. So let's uh, watch the cinematic one, and I'll keep quiet. Atomic fire consumed the earth. Those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years had passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. Halleck, and his army of rehabilitated chargers and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. The payout. You're crying in the rain, Tally. <laughs> I guess who's waking up over here? 
time to cash out. We can get it over with. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a saint, Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Just been shot. Now, you wonder how you're gonna play a character that's dead. We're gonna find out now. But it is a very, very fun game to play. This I've played it a long time ago, but it's time to get back into it again. And these uh, sort of wee bits in between each scene uh, sort of give you hints and stuff and to help you going along. Um, like the world in this is massive so and there is hundreds if not a thousand quests in it so we'll have a lot to do. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a bit? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Right, so my name. Uh I think I'll just stick to Ashley. <laughs> Can't say it's what I'd have guessed for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mason. Welcome to Bits. Nice to meet you. Now you don't mind, but I won't be going rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Ah, right, okay. So you can pick between male and female. I'll go for male. Um, Asian, African American. Hispanic. Actually, I'm going to be an African American. I haven't. No. I think it's cookies and I'm, I'm an African American. Your boss doesn't sound too good. Randomize my hair. These are all very strange. Randomization. Oh dear god. age yourself to look worse than what you are. Right. I look like some sort of strange morph between an alien and then typical 1950s guy. So, hair's hairstyle. Sarge, Bernard. I know what to go when I'm doing this. Pterosaur. Wow. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, facial hair. Or beard. Survivalist. Bit new adventure. I'm pretty sure you could change these at some point, but it like costs money to do as well. Ah, that looks good. Wait. I don't know what to go for. Go for that. Done. That's what my character looks like. They've just been shot, and somehow he's got me Good. out. Why don't you walk down to the end of the bridge, over by that big industrial chain? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Right. So as you can see there, I'm playing obviously on the PC version. So uh, toggle run, uh, push caps, so you can run, push it again, and then you just use WASD to. Obviously, walk. You can steal stuff off him already. Alright, so I'll go over here first and then. Yeah, it's not too bad. Go ahead and 
just as big as my church is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my church is bigger than my daily job. I will indeed. So, you, uh, you have different things here, and you can put different points into them. So, you can put one point into that, and you get five points off the bat, but you always have five in these things. So, the strength, which, um, this is how it affects melee on arms, inventory, weight, damage, weapon, effectiveness. Then there's perception, which then uh, is explosives, lockpicks, energy weapons, accurate like compass, and range. Endurance, unarmed, health, resistant, survival, charisma, barter, speed, companion, nerve, intelligence, science, repair, medicine, skill points, uh, agility, guns, sneak speed, action point, regeneration, luck, all skills, critical hits, enemy mishaps, and then you get to put, put into each one what you want. So, I'll go back and I'll see. So, I'm, I never really put anything into luck, so I'll put one into luck. Um, one the agility, because I use guns quite a bit. Um, don't think I'll put one in the intelligence. Put one in the charisma, because it's good to have good speech. Endurance, no. Perception, yes, because lockpick is very sort of important. And then I'll put it in the strength for the inventory part, so I'll just skip all these. And have different things here, obviously, you know, genius, gifted, etc. <coughs> I like to put mine out evenly so that everything's uh, so. Six in strength, six in perception, five endurance, six charisma, five intelligence, six agility, six luck. So the only ones I didn't put into is intelligence and endurance. I don't know why it tells you to push space or jump at the minute. So you grab an object, look at it, push Z. Dead. Dead. Yeah. I don't. Wait, did I just drop it? Okay. Uh, take a seat. <coughs> I look weird. Hello. Okay. Dog. Dog. Cat. Cat. Uh, investments. Day. Day. Night. We sleep. Bandit. Mm, bandit. Dab. Light. <coughs> Dark. Mother. I would have said father. But I'll do caretaker. Okay. <coughs> well, I, I got a couple. First up, conflict is going to be my nature. Conflict ain't just in my nature. Disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I ain't given on relying on others for support. Yeah. Well, as soon as it's my character, I'll be strongly agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, I strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Mm, disagree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? How many attacks? A broken chain, telegraph action, a shadow and a door frame. Using wounds, giant great tree headed ant. Sure, let's go for that one. It looks like a weird person at the top and then some sort of blob thing. Piece of art, some sort of species. Could be that ship at sea. Don't really. Well, I suppose it could be a ship at sea. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. <coughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'll not go for that one. I'll go for um, species technology. It looks like two mages giving each other high fives. Um, I don't, 
head on a pillow? A bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote, folks. Don't have much in sincerity. Maybe you'd better just have a look at the report. See if it all pans So that there was all just sort of a thing to show you which um which things you would pick. She have three skills and you get the pit points in these skills as you go along. So uh you need to put different things in them. So I'm going what am I gonna go for? So we've got speech. I'll go through these at another point, but I'm gonna go for lock pick and See, I know what the first thing I have to do is, and it does involve explosives. So I'll go for explosives. So done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing. Yes. I've got a form for you to fill out. I got it sent to your mother's crib. Just for formality. Quite a nice looking. Hey, thanks for finally getting down to earth with your child. I hope not. Right. Two traits, so the flamer burns twice as bright, burns half as long, all weapons have plus three percent critical hit, fast shots, while using guns and energy weapons, you're five percent twenty more twenty percent more quickly, shots twenty percent less accurate. For as well wearing any type of glasses, you one perception thick glasses you have minus one. Good natured. You're good natured at heart, more prone to solving problems with your mind and violence, gain plus five to Barter, medicine, prayer, um, speech, but see that sort of thing. That there would be good to have for that, but million on on testing more downwards with less critical hit downwards. Kamikaze, it's a reckless nature, and you have minus two damage threshold. From from frag grenades to throwing spears, you can throw weapons. Just cannon, small flame. Due to your small size, you have plus one agility, and I'm sorry, more easy than you. While using guns and energy weapons. You fire twenty percent more slowly, but you're twenty percent more accurate. Mm. While well, the somewhere less on this is the most desired, so the elements of physical apocalypse are mag enough for the fate of part of the series of Tetman. Yeah, you get like weird stuff, like aliens and stuff, so I'll put that one. And so they're good natured triggered or trigger discipline. Done. Yep. Come to me, Sheila. Okay, let's get up. Can can I have some sort of clothes back or something? You don't have much here, do you, boy? Um, just before I leave, I'm gonna steal all your stuff. Um. Ooh, right, so yes, in this here you'll see that um they don't have proper money. Oh whoops. They don't have proper money in this, so they have to make obviously because it's po post apocalyptic, so they have to make do. So what they use for currency is caps, bottle caps. So like that there are some sabbath sarsaparilla. Um you drink one loose and you get a cup, so that's like one penny, I suppose. Ooh. Um. Let's take all of that. Uh. Take all. Take out. I'm just going around looting all stuff because I'm gonna get out of here. I'll probably need to sell some of it to buy something useful. not much in here to be honest and he doesn't seem to mind obviously you see uh, at the bottom there it's in like a yellowy kind of color which means you can take it and they won't care um but I want to see if I can find something where if you oh I'll take all that but if you take certain things he people will become angry if they see you and they'll probably attack or kill you um so you do need to be very careful with that is there something on top of that? Oh, nice. Um, do you want to see if there's anything here I can't take? Just to show.
sure. Yeah, see, they're like it's really bad if you sleep in a third. People will be very angry and they'll react to what you've done. Um, sleeping in their bed, taking their stuff, going into certain rooms, doing lock picks. Do you lock pick in a room you're not supposed to be in? Um, oh, whoops. Uh, they will get very angry. So, you know, sometimes it's not a good idea to do that. And there's oh, bottle caps. You see. There we go. It's got some coins or money anyway. Yes, these are yours. There's only one on me and they're drawn in. I hope you don't mind, but I'm glad you know the look. I thought it might help me find an extra key. But it was just something about a pack. Which will lead us on to the rest of the game. Terrible. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of money. <laughs> if it wasn't for my pal. Um, thanks for patching up. I don't miss me. It's what I'm here for. You can talk to Sunny Smile before you leave town. She can help you learn the game for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, will pull you out of your jail. Hmm. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll try. Playing New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode, more mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. And this mode's impact heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs right away. You may turn hardcore mode on and off at any time to get play menu, but if you enter the hardcore mode now you maintain it through the end of the main story, you will receive a special reward. <sighs> no. I'm I'm uh, I'm not that good. I'm I'm really not. So yes. Ain't that a kick in the head? It's the first quest and it's here. So let's go out into the world of the Mojave Desert. <laughs> 